you talk about curb appeal. There's not a person driving down this road ever that's not gonna look over and see this in the front of this house. I would imagine his short game is pretty good oh, yeah. when you got a green like this. I'm the pond guy, Greg. Greg, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Right in this area right here, a beautiful fountainscape coming over. Sure, sounds great. You see how easy this is? <laughs> As gorgeous as that river is, and as much gallons as is flowing through there, it doesn't make a sound. This, you hear. Comes all the way around, twists on two sides. So one waterfall splits into two streams, <laughs> and then goes to one massive waterfalls facing the street. So this is a bank, you said? This is a bank. Okay, so we are driving down the road and I saw this waterfall. He goes, yeah, we built that in mid 2000s, you said? Yep, 2007. It's about as nice of a display as you can get. So is that a retention pond it's on or what is that? It's right above the retention pond. We built it so it kind of looked like it was part of it, but it actually isn't. Okay, Liberty National Bank. Boy, that is gorgeous with the eagle in there. Look at that, pretty cool. Listen to that sound too, all the way from the road. So the water does not recirculate into the retention pond. There's just aqua blocks in there and it just recirculates from there. Correct. And yep. the retention pond only fills when it rains. Yes. Well, they gotta be happy with that. I think that's a beautiful commercial project there, guys. Well done. Thank you. This is 20 years for you now in this business? 23. 23 years, and you just use the word fun when it comes to a waterfall because we take pride in our work. What is it about building waterfalls that make them fun? Uh, it's something different. You get to use a lot of creativity. There's no set rule of where things go like in a in It's a artistic. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's very artistic, very personalized. You get to direct the water and make it do what you want it to do. So the artistry comes out, but there is a set methodology, 20 products and yes. 20 steps to build them that kind of gives you a guideline and lets you spend all of your time on the creative elements, placing the rock, but you know what size pump to use, you know how big of a vault to use, you know how much liner and materials to yeah. use, and then it's up to your creativity as an artist and how you put it all together. Yeah. And that is a little bit more creative than, let's say, a retaining wall, which is just straight engineering. And that's what I love about this channel is no two water features are alike, no two settings are alike. Every water feature is a unique work of art, one of a kind custom creation, but the process to build them remains the same. And so I love how the entire back of the house overlooks this. So is the customer happy with the end result? The customer loved it. So the guys were working about five houses over from where we're just at vlogging. This is your concrete guys, right? Yeah, the Curbs Unlimited crew. Okay, how you doing? All right, so okay, so I think they're gonna do a concrete curb up here and Devin we met you last night, bro This is like the newest teammate and this is like the oldest teammate <laughs> Good seeing you again, bro. So you're putting in a concrete curb around here, huh? Okay, well, you know you do a good job at this and they might upgrade you to the pond crew Maybe. <laughs> Putting in some decorative water features. Hey, look at these shirts. Those are pretty nice shirts you guys got Curbs Unlimited, so this is a separate division or what? Yeah, it was bought as a separate company about 10 years ago. Okay. And then we just melded together. They help us a lot as far as landscaping goes, when, and then they do a lot of landscaping on their own also. But you know what you need after you get your curbs done? <laughs> yeah. A decorative water feature for that guy to play in. When I was his age, I loved water. I'm the pond guy, Greg. Greg, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Right in this area right here, a beautiful fountainscape coming over. Sure, sounds great. You see how easy this is? <laughs> Have you met Greg? I Greg? just did. Yes, my first time to South Dakota. Where are you from, Greg? Chicago. What's this guy's name? What's your name? I, Jed? No, just Jed. Jed! All right, Jed. Well, someday you can grow up and be a pond guy, okay? Okay. Ah. This is a very impromptu and interruption to your video. Brian Helfrich and myself are excited to announce the Aquascape Hands-On Academy. And this is the hands-on area right here. This was originally created for the Sandbox Studio for the Aquascape Artists of the Year, but it's gonna be turned into a training academy for all people that wanna be contractors to come and learn with our crew. You're gonna see Chris, our crew, and how they build a one-day pond, and we're gonna show you how to do it in four hours. We're gonna have bleachers over here. People are gonna be able to get inside, get their hands dirty. 
besides the 11 by 16 or 8 by 11, whatever yep. we decide to do for the one day pond, we're also gonna put in fountainscapes and a pondless waterfall. Come to the Aquascape Hands-On Training Academy this winter and work with us in a sandbox, actually getting your hands dirty and learning how to have a career with water features. Don't you wanna tell them about the other day? It's two days! The classroom day. <laughs> one day is gonna be hands-on in the sandbox, the other day is gonna be how to actually run a water feature business. Everything you need to know, 30 years of experience, 26 years at the helm, building water features, designing water features, selling water features, marketing water features, promoting water features, everything to do with running a water feature business. You said a lot in a short amount of time. We're gonna have yeah. a lot in two days. <laughs> Register, check out the link below. And now, back to the vlog. So this is the biggest waterfall boulder you've ever used? It is. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> so this rock right here you're talking about at the base. Yep, yep. So we are just driving around South Dakota, my first time to South Dakota. Doyle was like, hey, I got a waterfall in the front yard here. So I can see this is the basin. You got your pump vaults down here. And then you said that that rock was about 20,000 pounds, huh? It was. Wow. And when did you build this? Eight years old. Yeah. yeah. Did you work on this one too, Marty? Yeah. And it still looks good. Yeah, That's impressive. Oh yeah, it keeps going. You got a biofalls, another one. Yep. Wow, look at that. Yeah, look at that flow. Good. You talk about curb appeal. There's not a person driving down this road ever that's not going to look over and see this in the front of this house. They really wanted to set themselves apart. And there's nothing that you can set yourself apart more than with a decorative water feature like this. Wait, does it face the house up yeah, there? It just keeps going. It's pretty awesome. Another beautiful home. You got prairie style. Is that a ranch? Yep, with a walk my, out. Yeah, back my back wife back would back love back. that house. Is that the Missouri River? Yep. Holy cow. They got a water feature in the back from the river, and then they yep. got this in the front yard. So did you sell this? Yep. What was their concept, yep. buddy? They just wanted a water feature that was unique yep. Yep. That's and important. wanted it in the front yard. This is what we came up with. We wanted to be able to view it from the front of the house. Yeah. The yeah, so it comes all the way around, twists on two sides. So one waterfall splits into two streams <laughs> and then goes to one massive waterfalls facing the street. That is the creativity. There's two pumps dumping in here, and then there's a pump there and a pump there. So then it all comes together and you got 40,000 gallons an hour going over. Wow, not bad. And this wasn't even supposed to be one of our stops. You were just driving no, by, huh? Wasn't. Yeah. You just never know. Good work again, Marty. Thank you. So we were just looking at this one, which we weren't even supposed to stop at, but he's like, oh, I got a big waterfall right up here. And then you're like, oh, we got a waterfall over here. And this is what happens. So when they saw the neighbors, they wanted something, huh? Yeah, they were putting in a golf green. Oh, nice. Big golf with tee boxes and everything. And we partnered with Back Nine Greens. Okay. Greens from California. We did the green part of it. We did the tee boxes, or they did the tee boxes. We built the wall. We oh my the gosh, wall. the river really is right there. It is. That is awesome. Water to border there. Okay, so this is interesting. So you told me the river was here, but I didn't realize it was literally it right, right here. here. I would imagine his short game is pretty good oh, yeah. when you got a green like this. And this is cool. I really like this design. Incredible house, obviously, but boy, everything is manicured to a T back here. What I love about this is it makes the river come alive. As gorgeous as that river is, and as much gallons as is flowing through there, it doesn't make a sound. This, you hear. Talk about a water hazard. Look at this, he's even got his own sandbox in here. Oh, it's fake. It's still cool. <laughs> wow, look at this house. Oh my gosh. Big bio falls right there, spilling in. And look at this view of this river. Wow! This is cool. And of course, there's the neighbors that started it. And this is what I love to say. One water feature becomes two, two becomes four, four becomes eight. When I first started my business, I put in a classified ad, and this is 1991. I put a classified ad in the uh, newspaper in uh, Wheaton, Illinois, where I lived, and I sold a pond to Jim and Sharon Celebron that I just rebuilt after 30 years in the ground this year. And then that water feature sold me two more water features. And then I sold one more out of my business card and a picture at the local 
local rock yard. And that second one led to two more jobs. So I built five ponds my first season, two sold, three jobs that came from those projects. And that's how this business is. If people are looking for success in the water feature game, they gotta get water features in the ground because once people see them, the number one way for people to buy water features is for people to see them and see the lifestyle that comes with it. They wanna live it too. This is one impressive pull barn, buddy. Oh, okay, so there's a boat you're going fishing with today, huh? You bet. <laughs> that's the one we're taking to Minnesota. Not bad. And uh, you've got some shirts you said here, huh? I love these shirts. You guys tell me what you think of these shirts. I love these shirts. Yes, and it's the dry fit, right? Totally. Look at that. Pretty well organized. You get everything organized well here. Let's see this. Yeah, that's about as fancy of a shirt. I think we need some new shirts for our guys. I love the lifestyle on the back. Back. I love the American flag, amen. Let's do that too. Logo on the front. That is good. That uh, is a dope shirt. I am gonna definitely wear this and people will notice me around town. Awesome. That is for sure. Thank you. You, you ever wear long sleeve ones? No. No? I'm a short sleeve guy. Okay, Doyle, since you gave me a shirt, I think I should return the favor. Oh, all right. If you wouldn't mind cleaning it. <laughs> I would not mind that at all. I think yesterday's shirt was sitting in the back we'll here. So Greg Whitstock, the pond guy. Let's Perfect. See. So you got a pond guy shirt? Okay, yeah. So people will know you Heck around yeah. town too. <laughs> Heck yeah, thank you. All right, buddy. So this is how you live the Aquascape lifestyle because we were here last night at a really nice fun party. You have some stacked slate urns, which are completely gorgeous back here. But one thing that I wanted to talk about with your backyard, I said, first of all, I'd rather be sitting out here grilling burgers than any fancy restaurant anywhere, hanging out with a bunch of cotton. Contractors. So you got the three stack slate urns. This is a big basin in here, so you dug it with the aqua blocks. Yep. You can run it all the way. You know, and look at all the bees too. Oh yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. We need bees because yeah. they pollinate everything. Do you have a hive? There's a couple guys down the road to the north here that have them. Yes, it's definitely a hive somewhere close. But they need water. Bees need water, and we need to help the bees. Okay, you got the fountainscapes, you've got the patio, you've got the outdoor kitchen, you've got the seating area, you got the smoker. This is what living the Oxford lifestyle is about. It's not just the water feature, it's the, 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 of course, the hot tub. You've got it all, man. Fun day, vlogging ponds, huh? Great day, <laughs> had a great day. And now you just gotta go catch some walleye. Exactly. Hey, hey, it's been good getting to know you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> I love great my job.